In this video, we are going to talk about the importance of people with Down syndrome having a baseline psychology assessment, what happens during the assessment, and how you get the assessment. People with Down syndrome may get some health problems as they get older. Sometimes people find it more difficult to remember things or how to do things. This may be due to an illness called dementia. It is important to know what you are good at now whilst you are young and healthy. A baseline psychology assessment will help to give us this information. We will keep this information so that if you develop problems in remembering things or doing things in the future, we can do the assessment again and see if there are any changes. A member of our psychology team will do the assessment with you. The appointment may be in your home or online using a computer. A carer or family member can stay with you for the appointment if you would like. A baseline psychology assessment is the first assessment to find out what you can do now. Two things will happen during the baseline assessment. If you are happy to take part, we will ask you to do some puzzles and games. For example, we might ask you to name some pictures or do some drawings. Your carer can stay in the room with you if you would like. We will talk to people who know you well. This could be one of your carers, a family member or staff from the day centre. We will talk to them about how you look after yourself, what you find easy and what you find more difficult. After the assessment, we will write a report about the results. If you would like a copy of the report using pictures and words, we can write one for you. The information from the assessment will be kept for the future. In the future, if people are worried about you having memory problems, we can do the assessment again and see if you are having problems. This will help you get the right support. When you turn 30, your GP should refer you to our team for a baseline psychology assessment. If you are 30 and have not had a baseline assessment, then you or your carer can speak to your GP or contact our team to make a referral. Once we are asked to do the assessment with you, one of our psychology team will contact you and arrange the assessment at a time that best suits you. Thank you for watching this video. If you need any more information, you can talk to your carer or contact our team for more information using the link below.